Hi Geminis, welcome to your Zodiac reading. This is a timeless Zodiac reading, so you can watch this whenever, okay? It's gonna be five years from now, you guys can come back and watch it if you feel called to, okay? So let's get started. Dear God, dear Holy Spirit, please use me as a divine channel for the most purest, holy, love, and light only. Help me to give clear, accurate messages to all the beautiful souls who chose to watch this video. What does the Zodiac sign of Gemini need to know? In Jesus' name I pray, man. All right, what do you guys need to know at this time, Gemini? Holy Spirit, what does Gemini need to know? Seven of Swords. Okay, hold on. Give me one. Give me one at a time. Knight of Swords. Okay. Temperance. Healing. It's at the bottom. Knight of Wands. All right. Okay, guys. This one's a little strange. I'm not going to lie. It's, we start off a little weird. Okay, so Seven of Swords. Something you're not seeing. Something that's hidden. Yeah, this could have to do with a friend group. This could have to do with um, a partnership. There could be something that you're not, you don't know yet, that you don't that you don't see. Someone could be um sneaky. You guys could have someone sneaky in your energy. Okay, let me clarify this down of swords. I feel like this could have to do with a friend or um a potential partner. Someone's not telling you everything. I see you guys healing. I see it. You yep. Two cups came out. Sheesh. I see you guys healing. I see you guys releasing someone who doesn't serve you. I don't know why I just heard this, but ask yourself, in what ways are you not being honest with yourself? In what ways are you not being honest with those around you? In what ways are you not being honest with your, your friends or with your family? So be aware of that. But I do feel like there's someone around you that's not for you. Clarify this temperance. I don't know what this temperance is representing. Someone's not for you. The chariot. Mm -hmm. Needing to move forward. You, it's like, I just heard a runaway car. Like, I don't know why I just heard that runaway car. So it's like getting your car and drive off. That's what I'm hearing. Um, You guys are being called to drive away from someone or something fast. And I'm not telling you to drive fast. This is like, metaphorically speaking. taking off like speeding away from something okay yeah nine of swords okay clarify the knight of swords holy spirit ace of so you guys know you see some type of truth some type of clarity you have two of the fastest knights out here you have the chariot be careful while driving please drive slowly you guys be aware of driving also be aware of the people who are driving around you a smart driver is an only aware of how they're driving but they're also aware and observative of how other people are driving so be aware of that um yeah because they're saying protection seven of wands you guys need to protect your energy you guys i feel that you're going to receive some type of truth or clarity about someone who's been sneaky someone who's not for you and it feels like someone coming through to tell you this I don't know if it's this person, if it's the actual person that's going to confess or um, I just heard these are my confessions or if there's someone who's going to tell you because they, you know, they know this and they feel like you should know. But I see you guys going right into healing like, OK, you know what? There's nothing I can do, you know, but focus on myself, release this energy and focus on healing and moving forward. I'm hearing my own success. I see you guys focusing more on yourself. Yeah, you guys. You guys are going to receive some type of truth about someone who's not not on the up and ups. Let's see what you need to know about. Look, we have once you back. Someone could want you back. Someone who was shady in the past could want you back. It could even be shady friends. You guys, let me see what, what you guys need to watch out for. Because this energy is, is strong. What do you need to look out for? What do you need to watch out for? Now, when I ask this question, it could be neutral. It doesn't have to be bad. It could be good um, as well, okay? But we have running. I feel like you guys are going to be running from something. Literally, we have create, creativity muncher. Steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates feeds off of you. Whoa. With the seven of swords, someone who's feeding off of your ideas, your creativity, your work duplicates feats off of you and if this has happened in the past this could mean that there's someone who's done this to you in the past that's trying to come back into your life or you will um see them somewhere and they may want to speak to you so be aware of that it's like bumping into someone that you don't want to bump into 
it's like oh great like there's so and so you try to hide behind like say if you're at a clothing store and you see like someone that you used to be friends with or someone you used to be in a relationship with and you really don't want to bump into them and you're like trying to hide kind of you've been not like all paranoid but you're trying to like camouflage yourself in the store so that they don't see you so you can kind of sneak around and I'm kind of getting that vibe like you don't you don't want to be around this person okay and if they were someone who's, who copied you or stole your ideas um this is a sign that it's that person okay if you dealt with ex an experience like that now let's see what else is going on give me one you guys have a lot of cards want to come out you guys are being called to um just protect your energy you guys could have blocked the, this person or you you're needing to block this person someone's feeding off of your energy or wanting to so for example if you're not very active on social media this person could be like snooping around and see you know okay do they have another page um this person could be hoping you will post more because they want to see what you're up to there's someone from your past that wants to copy you or has copied you before has used you in some type of way and you may have blocked them in the past and they're trying to come back okay i'm strongly getting ex-friends spiritual hater you guys hates on your spirituality light magic power someone wants to steal your power your magic your light but you can't steal someone's authenticity look queen rising stepping into power praise Coming up spotlight. You guys are going to be in the spotlight and someone's hating on you spiritually. So you guys are strongly being called. You see how one's dark and one's light. It's like she's on the shadow and she's on the light. You guys are being called to protect your energy. Because with the chariot, I see you guys. It's regal energy. I see you guys standing in some type of power. I see you guys glowing up. I see you guys leveling up in a major way. Going towards success. Queen royalty energy. You guys are healing. You guys are doing the healing work. And that's what's making you stand more in your power. But someone or a couple of someones aren't liking this, you guys. They can sense it. They can feel it. You may not even feel your best, but they can feel your, your potential and your power. Yeah. So be aware of this energy. What else? Grudge holder. Someone's holding a grudge towards you guys. I'm telling you, someone is like low-key, sneaky-ass hating on you. Excuse my French, you guys mm-hmm threatened they feel threatened by you give me one what is this fishing for comments I'm trying to get your attention they will you know those people who want to they fish for compliments as well like they try to they try to see if you'll compliment them okay we have boss daddy it says stable, rich business owner, CEO, big dick energy. Excuse my French. Oop, I was reading it and forgot what, it, what the heck it said. So you guys, we have Queen Rising and we have Boss Daddy. Some of you guys could be meeting someone um, who's a who's in the Boss Daddy energy, okay? Major. You guys could be meeting someone very important who's in the Boss Daddy energy. And some of you could be meeting someone who's in a Queen Rising energy. So if you're masculine energy and you're into feminine energies... You're going to be meeting a queen rising. If you're a feminine energy who's in the masculine energy, you're going to be meeting a boss daddy. This is very powerful. I'm seeing you guys moving out of situations that don't serve you. Um, things that are low vibration, low vibrational, toxic. Um, and I see you guys moving towards meeting new people, new soul tribe. Understanding of oneself, okay? Some of you might have been in a lower energy, and you're being called to come out of that because it doesn't serve you. It really doesn't serve you. And people don't realize that when the certain energy, the certain frequency they're in, is affects their relationships. So if you're in a lower frequency, some of the people that you were friends with um, before, say if you were in a higher frequency and then you kind of, your vibration kind of dipped, you know. Um, sometimes you can find that you're not resonating with the people that you used to resonate with. Now, if you are in a lower frequency and you meet friends around in that frequency and you're spending time in that lower frequency together, you could easily um, outgrow these people because you want to change again into a higher frequency. So, the reason I mention it like that because it's like a roller coaster, okay? We, our frequencies change. At any given moment, you can decide to live more in ego, toxicity, 
Um, you can decide to dwell in negativity and you can find that your relationships that you had when you were when you were doing good and when you were, you know, positive, they could shift a bit because, OK, maybe they're not on that same frequency wave, you know, and vice versa. If you start to change in frequency and raise your frequency, the people that you were with before when you're in the lower frequency could shift. I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm per I'm hope. I hope that I'm explaining that right. It's like a wave, you guys. It just, whatever frequency you're on, you match it. Like, you draw on energies that um, match that frequency, okay? And even if you're a high frequency, sometimes you still attract lower frequencies because you're in a higher frequency. It's like the light att attracts moths. It attracts all different types of energies. So, I, I hope that makes sense, you guys. Um, but for example... High vibrational people aren't going to hang out around lower vibrational people. It's just not happening. Okay? But you will find a lower vibrational person trying to hang out with a high vibrational person because they want that light. They want the energy. So you guys are dealing with energy vampires. And you need to be aware of that. And also be aware of your own energetic vampire rhythm. I hope I said that right. <laughs> be aware of that. Okay, am I draining? You know, am I doing something that's low vibrational be aware of these tendencies okay we have move in silence you guys are being called to move in silence make boss moves in silence Roll g's move in silence like lasagna okay that's what i just heard yeah impersonator someone's trying to copy you guys it's that simple someone is trying to be you match you mary kate nashley someone's trying to match you but they're in a different frequency and it's like you can't imitate, you can't, you can't copy energy. Like you can't copy my authenticity. You can't copy my soul. You just can't. This is natural. But someone's trying to be like you. Okay. Wants to be like you, acts like you, dresses like you, looks like you, copies you. In some form, some way, someone's trying to copy you guys. So that's what you need to look out for. You need to protect your energy, protect your artwork. And your creativity because someone is trying to legit copy you because they see you in your power. You guys are going to be meeting someone who's in their power quite soon. They could be very important in your journey is what I'm hearing. It could be very important when it comes to um, your healing and your success. So be aware of that. Okay. Have discernment about the people you come across because I do feel like someone is, someone is going to be um, coming along your path that is going to be very important. Okay, they may have the right connections for you. Not saying that that's why you're going to, you know, be friends with them. But I just feel like you're going to be meeting someone. It's going to be very important to your path. All right. So you guys need to have faith and hope. Face yourself. I just heard face yourself. Face yourself. Confront yourself. Be aware of yourself. Self-awareness. How do you feel? You know, why do you feel the way you feel? Why do you feel the way you feel? And how do you feel when you're around certain people? So it's about self-awareness ultimately, you guys. You guys need to protect your energy. There's some type of truth clarity coming through about something that isn't serving you. And I feel like it's people. Or um, it could, like I said, it could even be past people coming back, trying to make their way back into your life. It could be a warning, like I said, before you could end up bumping into these people somewhere. So... Just keep that in mind, okay? Yeah, the lovers, Gemini, that's your card. Something could be on the way. Something in love. Empress, boss-like energy. They're calling you. Your guides are calling you to stand in your power, Geminis. They're calling you to be more in your power. Create that business. You know, do what you've always wanted to do. Start that empire. Go after that dream you've always wanted, okay? There's something better for you. Go after it. Okay, so what's happening with your finances? Gemini's. What's happening with their finances? Holy Spirit, give me one card at a time, please. Comfort. Okay, so though you're not exactly rich, you will be living comfortably. You're entering the most comfortable period of your life. Your finances are in a state of balance. And now you have windfall. And it says you're about to receive a windfall of money or pay raise. Money is currently in a positive cycle. This is a great time to treat yourself or to make that big purchase. So money is coming your way you guys need to get in the frequency the energy of money say yes to the things you think you can't do okay look recognition you guys are the only thing that's stopping you from this money and success 
That's what I just heard. The only thing that's stopping you is you. And it says, your money is looking good and solid. Whatever you are working on now will win you the respect of others. You could earn a leadership position or get the recognition you deserve. You had the empress. You had the chariot. You had temperance. It's about patience. It's about healing. Okay? Knowing that the journey won't always be perfect. And it may not happen in the timing that you want it to happen in. But it will happen for you. What's meant for you won't miss you. Okay? What's at the bottom here? So, they're asking you to just... Watch your finances, okay? There has been a lot of ups and downs with your finances. Money coming in fast and going out just as quickly. Fast changes regarding money or unexpected turn of finances. Well, the unexpected turn of finances is that you're going to have a lot of money coming in, but you need to save it. You need to invest in it, okay? Invest in it? Wow. You need to invest it wisely. We have beauty here. And it says, embrace your unique style and own it. Let the world see who you really are. Consider careers doing hair, jewelry, clothing, or any job that enhances others' beauty. Your inner world must match your outer world for things to change. So a lot of you guys are being called to do inner work, okay? You're being called to focus more on your spiritual um, health and hygiene and emotional and mental health and hygiene. That's very important for you guys because that's what's going to make things shift outside of you. That's how you're going to attract better opportunities when you do the healing work. When you're self-aware, when you can confront whatever demons and shadows you're running from. So you guys need to do some, um, you know, meditation, some prayer. You guys might need to light a candle and um, cut, do a, like a cord cutting ritual with Archangel Michael. You guys might even feel called to work on your heal, heal, um, healing your inner child. You might feel called to um, light a candle for your inner child. Something, okay, there's something that keeps coming up for you guys. Okay, and, 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 and it's not for all of you, but hear me out. Listen, for those of you who are dealing with this, you're going to know. You occasionally have these moments where you get into like a deep depression, like a deep darkness. And you try to, you're try you trying to figure out, okay, why is it that I can never be proud of myself? Why can I never be happy? There's some type of soul tie or some type of cord you need to cut. There's something in your energy that you need to cleanse. You guys really need to learn how to strengthen your spiritual protection and hygiene. Because you guys could be receiving like um, or absorbing negative energies. Okay. And there could also be something lingering on you that you've been needing to cleanse out or cut. So you guys need to work on spiritual cleanses. Because once you do this spiritual cleanse, once you cut the cords, seven days. They said for seven days do a spiritual cleanse. Once you cut the cords, you guys, that's when all this abundance of money and, and, and opportunities come your way. So you have a blockage. It's a spiritual one for some of you. You're going to know that is for you if you've been feeling like, I don't know why. Like, I, I achieved something and I still feel low. You know, I don't, I'm not, I don't feel happy. I don't feel proud of myself. If you feel unlucky, if you feel um, just drained, there's, you guys need to cleanse your energy. You guys need to do some spiritual cleansing. So someone needs to hear that. What's happening with um what's happening with Gemini's finances, Holy Spirit? Yeah. Overwhelmed, slow down. So some of you guys could be overwhelmed. If you think you're overwhelmed now, I just heard if you think you're lonely now, wait until tonight. But what's crazy is they said it if you think you're overwhelmed now, wait until you get this money. It's like you know, sometimes people manifest money and they don't know what to do with it. You know, so manifest the knowledge and resources and know what to do when you receive this this prosperity, this wealth. So you guys need to be very clear on how you manifest because you have a lot of money coming in. Poverty consciousness. So you guys need to let go of poverty consciousness. Some of you guys could have been in a lack mentality. And they're asking you to come out of that because you have a lot of money coming your way. You are financially being taken advantage of, okay? So someone could be wanting to take your money or you might find out that you've been paying more money than you've had to pay. I don't know why I'm getting that. Yeah, what's the rush? Some of you guys could be in a rush. Some of you guys could be rushing. Some of you guys are impatient. That's why the temperance card came out. Some of you guys are wanting to get things done fast. Maybe you wanted to be somewhere at a certain age or do something at a certain time frame in your life. And that's not the way life works. You can't control everything. The more you try to control everything, the harder you make it for yourself. You become your own bully. Yeah. So let's see what's going on. <laughs> Think rich and wealthy. See, 
They're asking you to shift your, your mindset. Spotlight phase. Because you guys are going to be entering some type of phase where you're going to be seen, recognized for something. You have the Empress. You have the Chariot. You have Temperance card here. You have the Queen Bee, Beyonce, in her um, royalty kind of like dress. I, I, what What is what music video is that from? I can't remember. But her and her crown and all of that, right? And then you have the boss daddy come out. You guys are supposed to be seen. You have a windfall. Come on. You guys are starting some type of glow up. Like it's the start of a glow up. Like you're starting some something that's going to put you in a good position. But you need to get rid of this lack mentality. And you need to protect your energy. Protect your resources. And have discernment. When it comes to who you um, have helped you when it comes to um, your taxes and when it comes to money. Uh, that's what I just heard. Yeah, I heard new levels, new devils. Think rich and wealthy. And, and you know what? It's pro probably because you're going to be reaching some type of success. Is the reason why you have old friends and old people coming back into your life. Remember what I said. Not everything good is attracted to the light. Okay. Um, because I feel like some people might just be wanting to come in, right? Your coach will say, oh, I knew them. You know, I'm friends with them. Yeah, rescuer. They want your help. Mm-mm. No. See, someone's going to ask you for help and you guys need to protect yourself. Do not give in. Someone might ask you to invest in their company or their business. Do not give in. You guys need to have discernment because someone may see you winning and they're going to want to uh, re reach out for help. Or they're going to propose it like it's some type of business idea or project. You need to be aware of that, okay? But someone could come into your life that could end up helping you guys. Okay, this, like I said, there's some type of person that's going to come into your life. That could be the boss daddy or the queen bee that could come into your life and help you in some type of way. So be aware of that. But you guys are going to enter a space where you're comfortable. So put down your worries. Put your worries aside. Yeah, another Zodiac sign had this song. Um, I'm, I'm hearing Born Tired by Janae Aiko. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little um tired with my wording there. I'm getting the part where she says, um, rest your weary heart. I got that for another Zodiac sign. So if you hear that, if you go and watch another Zodiac sign and you hear that part, if if that stands out to you, then that's an extra message for you. If you end up watching that reading where I mentioned that song. Do not let blockages, do not let people or situations get in your way. Because I feel like the, different things are going to come across your path. And you might feel like, oh, another block, another obstacle. And you might want to give up. They're saying don't give up because you're so close to your miracle. You're so close to your success. You have no idea how close you are. It's almost like an overnight story, but it's not really overnight because you've been working towards this. You've just been so hard on yourself. Something's going to happen for you. 31-4, you need to believe in yourself, okay? It says, love makes a difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. So your relationships, you need to connect more with love. You need to connect more with people who love you. You need to really love yourself is what I'm hearing. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. Forgiving yourself, forgiving others. A lot of you guys need to focus on self-forgiveness. You've been too hard on yourself. You've really been too hard on yourself. A lot of you guys need to focus on self-love. Yeah, relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. And you guys are going to be looking at the tip. The, ooh, I don't know why I just heard Tiffany. I don't know if that if we're referring to Tiffany as in jewelry or we're referring to someone's name, Tiffany. But anyways... You guys need to r r recognize, like, really, um, I just heard you better recognize. I don't know what all this is coming from, but okay. And they're showing me BAPS, the movie BAPS. I don't know if someone likes the movie BAPS or if they're watching that. But, um, hold on, you guys. They just gave me a lot of stuff. They just said breakfast at Tiffany's. Now, and they're also showing me a Marilyn Monroe. Um, Diamonds are a girl's best friend. They're playing that. Or is someone wanting a sugar daddy? Because those movies, Breakfast at, Breakfast, hold on, Breakfast at Tiffany's, How to Marry a Millionaire is what's coming through as well. But with Marilyn Monroe in that pink dress, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. Okay, that song. Okay. Anyways, you guys. Relationship patterns, it takes strength to recognize the need for change. So a lot of you need to pay attention to. You need to understand, okay, I've been attracting the same type of people. 
why am I attracting these same type of people? Because it doesn't mean there's something wrong with them. It means that something's wrong. Something, something needs to be addressed within you if you keep attracting the same type of people, same type of energies. You need to be aware of that. It's not always other people. Sometimes it's us. So this is you, you being bold enough and brave enough to confront those aspects of yourself to say, okay, hold on. What part of me is attracting this energy consistently? Or if you keep having these periods where you're like, not happy ask yourself why am i like this why am i being so hard on myself relationships okay you need to understand your relationship with yourself and then others consider your foundation look at how committed you are to love yeah you need to consider your foundation with yourself there's a lot of self-love you guys this relationship aspect of the reading i did this so we could see how you're going to be connecting with others but what they're showing me is you, the way you connect with yourself, Gemini's. The mirror is being shown to her. She has this divine being that's showing this mirror. And it's her. They're, they're reflecting this mirror back. The angels are trying to get you to see yourself. Yeah, it's like they're showing you different versions of yourself. You know, the way they're showing this to me, you guys, is like Ghost of Christmas Past. You know, like when, is it Scrooge? I can't remember. But it basically, it's like they're taking someone and showing them the different, different time frames, different things that have happened to them in their life, the different relationships. It's like they're showing you all your relationships, friends, family, you know, romantic relationships. So you have actions speak loudly. Express your love through actions. You guys are being called to get into action. In what way can you better love yourself? In what way can you express love to those who care about you? But no, they're showing me you guys looking at the different versions of yourself. Different things that have happened to you. And really addressing it and healing it. Because there's something that isn't healed for some of you, okay? Now for those of you who are like, okay, I didn't resonate with the whole heavy energy. That's fine. You need to pay attention to the your relationship patterns when it comes to friends, you know, partners, okay? Just be aware of this and be aware of people when they speak with you and they tell you about all oh, my ex, blah, 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 and my other ex, blah, 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 blah. Pay attention to that. If you have a friend that gossips about everyone, you know, and then they come and tell you what makes you think they're not gossiping about you. Pay attention to the patterns. Pay attention to people's patterns. That's a very big message for you guys, okay, to pay attention to people's patterns because it'll tell, you know, I just heard show and tell. It'll tell on them. Their their own patterns will give you the truth. That's what I just heard. So we have self-care. What do we need to know for Gemini's to self-care? And what ways do you need to focus on? Self-care, what can you be doing? Some of you guys really need to rest. Because I feel, all of a sudden, I feel sleepy in your reading. And I have a lot of energy. So you guys need to rest more. Some of you guys need to drink more water. Connect with your ancestors. Yeah, we did have the owls on that card. So... Connect with your ancestors. They have a message to share with you. A lot of you guys need an ancestor altar. If you don't have one, what are you doing? An ancestor altar or an angel altar, I just heard. Some of you guys have ancestors that have been trying to talk to you. And you're not open to hearing them. You're not making time for them. Look for fairies. Some of you guys could be connecting to fairies. Okay, fabing, seeing dragonflies, seeing butterflies, maybe even June bugs, but they're seeing dragonflies. You see a dragonfly hovering around you or butterflies hovering around you. Could be fabings trying to connect with you. You guys are being called to spend time near a lot of trees. Because when I see trees, I also think of the ancestors. And you have the fabings and you have the ancestors. Uh, like forest hiking, of course, do this safely. I would never tell anyone to do this alone. But um, you want to do this safely. And I feel like you guys need to connect with um, nature and your ancestors, the ancient ancestors of the, of the earth. Yeah. Look at this. Ground yourself. You guys are needing stability. You guys are needing to focus on grounding your energy. Your root chakra could be important. Okay. Right now, you guys need to focus on grounding yourselves, envisioning, you know, tree, tree branches going throughout your root chakra. You need to focus on stability. I'm hearing planting your feet in the grass or in the sand. You need to feel feel natural again is what I just heard. I don't know why I just heard the song. You make me feel like a natural woman. 
but you guys need to spend time in nature. Okay, that's not for everyone, obviously. You could be a man watching this who's, you know, straight and be like, okay, I don't know why I, I'm not resonating with a natural woman. But um, you guys need to be a natural man, you know? You need to connect. Connect with nature. Make an altar. I just told you guys that. Boom. They're not playing. Your ancestors are like, hello. That's what I'm hearing. Like, hello. Hello. Like, pick up the phone. We've been trying to connect with you. Yeah, you guys need to cleanse your energy. I told you that. It's spiritual. Whatever you guys are dealing with, you guys need to cleanse your aura. Okay? You need to cleanse your aura. You guys might feel called to get a Reiki cleanse. You may feel called to do like um some type of spiritual cleanse. Whatever you feel called to. It could be a white bath. Um... A salt bath or a salt scrub. Um, and baths aren't always like sitting in the bathtub, you guys. Our ancestors didn't do that, all right? Our ancestors used to take buckets and do their little spiritual, you know, concoction. And they would pour it over themselves in nature. So some of you guys are feeling feeling called to go out in nature to cleanse as well. To cleanse in ground. Working with sacred herbs to cleanse as well. I'm also seeing someone not only smudging, but I'm also seeing someone working with sacred herbs in their teas. So keep all that in mind. You guys are being called to cleanse. Light a candle. Light a candle and cleanse your energy, cleanse your space. It's so important. It's crucial. That's what they just said. It's crucial for you during this time. You need to cleanse your energy. Dang. They came in very strong for you guys. You know what? I'm going to do something different. I'm going to pull from two different um, card decks. One I haven't used for the other zodiac signs. Let me see. Hold on. I'll use this one too. I've used this one. Let's see. The hawk. You have 11, the hawk, omens, and messages. Your ancestors are trying to give you guys the omens messages. You might start seeing winged beings. That's your ancestors. You have a partnership that's going to be coming up soon. Yeah, you're restricted. There's some type of spiritual blockage. The cow, nourishment, abundance, asking, receiving. You guys need to ask for help, guidance. Ask your angels for guidance. Ask your ancestors for guidance. Asking you shall receive. Look, there is love coming your way. You guys have the lovers. I'm telling you. They're trying to bring good things into your life, but they're saying you have to get focused to cleanse your energy. 33. So you can be in harmony and balance. You guys need to do this cleanse. Yeah. You guys need to cleanse your energy. Let me get this deck. Cleanse your energy, you guys. Consistently, seven days straight. You need to ask yourself, what habits are you, are you participating in? What are you doing that's probably not the safest or not the best for you? They just want you to be aware of the energies that you allow in your life. The things you do that aren't the best or aren't the safest or the healthiest. Be aware, okay? They want you to do better. That's why I just heard do better. Okay, you guys, there's this scene um, from... I, was, I wasn't I was into Key and Peele. Um, I, ho I hope I'm pronouncing their names right. But they've been popping up on my timeline a lot. So I've been watching some of their videos. And some of them are funny. Um, and one is about this girl named Megan. Okay? And Megan... <laughs> Basically, she acts like she's a sweetheart, but she's not. Um, and she's, like, telling him that she's so chill. At, they're at, at a date, okay? She's on a, on a date. And she's telling the guy she's dating that she's so chill. And she just takes it easy. And he's like, yeah, like, you're so cool. I didn't think you are going to be that way. And she's like, yeah, like, I'm so chill. I'm so cool. And then when the waiter comes, she's like, it's been five minutes. And it's like her whole energy shifts. She's like, it's been five minutes. And... And then um, the guy said, oh, I'm sorry, we're backed up or whatever. And she says, do better, do better. And I don't know why, but I just feel like that energy where it's like, do better. Um, I don't know what this is about, like why that part came through. But you guys need to, you guys are being called to do better <laughs> in some type of way. I don't know why, but your 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 ancestors have a sense of humor, but they're being strict with you right now. 
So we have rediscover your zeal. 40, pay attention to the passion you are feeling for discovery, learning, exploration, spirituality, travel, your work, or your relationship. Passion and desire go together, especially as inspiration. So you guys need to get fired up again. You guys need to do something. You put that light back in, you know, spark that light. Okay, so keep that li that light lit. I just heard this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Be insightful and establish. Ground and rebalance your energy. Bring your awareness into now rather than allowing it to occupy the past or future. Stay in the present moment. That could also be what's, what the issue is. You guys are too busy focusing on what you didn't do in the past or what didn't work out in the past. And then busy thinking about your future. When you need to be in the present moment, don't worry about time. Just be in the present moment, okay? Look. 26 where you need to be it says acknowledge how you are feeling have faith the universe will take care of a current concern by providing the best possible outcome for all involved and what's crazy i'm hearing this song um by donnelle jones or is it called where i where i should be or where i need to be or something like that i can't remember it came through briefly and it left okay so let's see what type of god or goddess is wanting to work with you or some deity you need to learn about your energy is kind of like whatever. Um, that's the vibe. It's almost like it is what it is. End of a cycle. Yeah. Look at the raven. Y you guys, this is major. You guys are ending a cycle. That's why they're saying you need to do the spiritual cleanse. Because you're, you're stuck somewhere. Or you're dealing with something that you shouldn't be dealing with anymore. Artemis, brave spirit. Protector, innocence, but protector, and also one with animals and children and women. So you guys both have, um, ooh, you guys both, that's interesting. Maybe that your divine counterpart is coming through as well. You both have um, animal guides, spirit guides that are helping you during this time. But you're calling me to be brave. Yeah, Cain, life force energy. They're calling me to connect with your chi, your energy. Spend time in the sun. Get your energy back. Maybe something with your energy levels. You guys need to make sure you're putting healthy food into your body. I'm hearing put life back into your into your um, world. The light. Yeah, visionary. Get creative. Be expressive. Share your talents and gifts. What did I just say? Share your gifts raw it's time to come out of hiding you have the sun god raw you guys need to spend time in the sun energizing spend time in nature nature trees water sun that's going to be your best friend that's what's going to help heal you that's what's going to help cleanse your energy as well you guys are being called to cleanse your energy tell the truth speak your truth okay so let's see let me get you one more Come out of the dark and into the light. It's a, I know it's a constant struggle sometimes, but remember, you are worthy of happiness and joy. Get out of your own way. Truth is different at different levels of consciousness. Reserve judgment. Didn't I say, what was I saying about energy? Frequency shifts. Sometimes you people match up, sometimes they don't. So each person's truth is different. Each person's opinion is different from their own perspective, right? Truth is different at different levels of consciousness. Reserve judgment. Truth. And we had tell the truth. So speak your truth. Okay? And look, we have passion. You guys are really needing to get become passionate about something. Light up your life by honoring your deepest desires. So you guys are working with your solar plexus chakra. You guys are working with the sun. Masculine energy. Go out there. Be seen. Get things done. Be heard. Look at this. A long walk is good for the soul. Get outside and allow Mother Nature to lift your spirits. Bingo. That's your mic drop right there. Move. Look at the sun. I'm telling you. Yeah, the sun got raw. Look. You guys have a kate. Or a cake. Look, I can never remember how to pronounce her name. But anyways, past life healing. Bingo. Some energies you guys need to transmute and let go of. Okay? Cut the cords. I love you guys. That's what I have for you.